Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be making meatloaf in the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're also going to be using the, I don't want to call it the, I guess you want to say it's the original Ninja Foodie minus the grill. Now we're using the other foodie to saute our veg up. If you don't have a foodie and only have the grill, just use your stove top. Just use a frying pan on the stove. Except for us Ninja Foodie owners, we don't know what a stove is anymore. Um, so my name is Lisa and welcome to Pressure Press. So to start this meatloaf recipe, what we're going to do is we're going to select sear saute and we're going to press start. So while the Ninja Foodie is warming up, I'm going to go over the list of ingredients that you're going to need. Today, I am using a mixture of meats. This is the meatloaf mixture that you can purchase in the supermarket. It's veal, pork, and beef. This is three pounds of meat in this bowl. You're also going to need an onion. This is like a large onion right here. You're going to need minced garlic. You're going to need three eggs, tablespoon of chopped parsley, three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce, about a half a cup of milk. You're going to need a bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil to saute these onions. And of course, we're always going to need our pepper and our salt. Last but not least, we're going to use a little bit of Italian seasoning probably a teaspoon and a half of Italian seasoning. So let me just go over the chopping of the onions because I'm just waiting for that Ninja Foodie to warm up. Make sure your hand is up and out of the way. This is gonna be a very small dice. I would like to say fine, but it's not going to be fine. Yes, everything will be fine, but just not our onion. Then you're gonna cut, once again, watch fingers. just like that. And I think my knife needs to be sharpened. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. And I'm gonna add all this wonderful onion. Oh yeah, and that's what you wanna hear. Sizzle, sizzle. And all we're doing here is, you wanna, you wanna soften these onions you want to cook these onions until they're translucent, which should take probably like three to five minutes. I am going to toss in a little bit of salt, not much, and a little bit of pepper. I like to flavor and season as I go. Next, we're going to go ahead and toss the minced garlic in. And you want to cook this for around one minute. So this is done, so we're going to take it out of Ninja Fruity and pour it off into a bowl. And we want this to cool completely before we add it to the meat mixture. So to the meat mixture, what we're going to add is all of the remaining ingredients. We're gonna take some of those breadcrumbs, not some, put all the breadcrumbs in. I'm gonna go ahead and add the parsley. I'm gonna go ahead and add those three eggs. Pepper, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper or Maybe a teaspoon. Salt, probably a teaspoon of salt. All right, Italian seasoning, let's see. Like a teaspoon and a half. Worcestershire sauce, we're gonna think, probably like a tablespoon. We're also gonna go ahead and uh, pour in that half a cup of milk. Last but not least, these lovely onions. Now you can mix with your bare hands. I'm opting to use gloves today. Now you don't want to mash this mixture. You want to be gentle with it because the more you work it, the denser the meatloaf will be. So just mix this together. Oh, it smells good already. This is completely mixed together. I am using the Ninja Foodie pan that came with the baking set. 
This can be purchased off Amazon or directly from Ninja Kitchen. We're gonna take this meatloaf mixture and just put it right in here. Whoops, just like that. Then we're just going to make it even in this pan. The Ninja Foodie grill is on. We're gonna choose bake, temp. We're going to bring it up to 350 and hit start. This is just preheating right now. Okay, so it's prompted me to add the food. What I like to do, I put my little silicone protector down there and I'm adding the dehydrator. This part of the dehydrator set for the eight quart because I don't have the roasting rack because Ninja Foodie Kitchen is sold out of them. We're gonna take that meatloaf put it right in the middle and close the lid what I'm gonna do is increase this time I'm gonna increase the time to 45 minutes okay so there's seven minutes and 14 seconds left raise the top oh yeah look at that beautiful meatloaf we are gonna take a quick temp all right, we're at 134. This is getting very, very brown on top. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna cover this with foil. Okay, let's see if I can get this guy out of here without making a big mess. All right, I got that edge, and we want this edge. I just wanna cover this with foil. Beautiful. Set it on the counter. I probably should use a bigger piece, I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is, oh, you want this foil to go underneath because you don't want it sucked up by the fan. There we go. Woo! Let's go back over there. Hot, hot, hot. Get in here. Not a problem. We are going to lower the lid, let it start back up. What I usually do, you want to wait like a few seconds and then quickly, there we go. So the fan isn't sucking it up. We have seven minutes left. I think what I'm gonna do, this is the 45 minutes. I think I'm gonna tack on probably another five minutes. So that'll bring it up to um, 50 minutes. And since we're getting close to being done, I'm just gonna make a quick glaze for this. We're just going to take some ketchup. Probably like a half a cup of ketchup. I'm just gonna use French's yellow, just that much. You just want a hint of mustard there. You can do, use Dijon, you can use basically whatever you want. Pinch salt, a little bit of pepper, and some Worcestershire sauce. There we go. And you're just gonna whisk this all together. And that's all there is to it. We have three minutes left. I just wanna do a quick temp on this. Going right through the aluminum foil. Ooh, 160. Yeah, I think this. Yep, this guy's done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move this lovely aluminum foil. Once again, please be careful when you do this. We're gonna add this lovely glaze. Let me just get it all on top. Um, you can add more glaze. If you want more glaze on top, I would double it. I know Chief Taste Tester and my father do not like, well, my mother likes to glaze, but my father doesn't. So I just give them like a little bit of a glaze here. I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the lid and let it cook for the remainder three minutes. The meatloaf is done cooking. There it is right there, gorgeous. We're gonna take this out. Once again, please be careful because you can see that grease is bubbling. Just gonna put it on a rack over here. I'm gonna shut the Ninja Foodi grill off. Now what I'm gonna show you next is we're gonna try to get it out of that pan. Keyword, try. So I've done it with other pans, but I just wanna see if I can get this spatula, there we go. Okay, that's underneath. Oh boy. Woo! -hoo. This is quite the endeavor. There we go. We're up, we're going. The eagle has landed, the eagle has landed. Gorgeous. Look at that guy. We're gonna let this cool. And we're gonna do that lovely taste test that we always do. Time for that taste test. 
I want you to see this up close. Here it is right here. Gorgeous. Here is a slice of it. It's a big slice, by the way. Okay, look at that. Just like cake. This is really good. It's super moist because of the mixture of meats. The flavor is out of this world. It's really, really good. Completely different compared to 100% beef meatloaf. Buy the mix at the store or mix your own. One pound of beef, one pound of veal, one pound of pork. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this can be done in your Ninja Foodie Grill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit the notifications button. Check us out on Facebook at Pressure Chris Ninja Foodie and Ninja Foodie Grill. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.